Uh, so we had requests, technique requests from Ibrahim, uh, single leg X entries, and uh, Kuru Kuru or Overhook X, whatever you want to call it, details. Uh, so I'm just going to show kind of like a grab bag of some of my favorite entries to single leg X. Favorite one from Butterfly Guard with a cross collar grip. Okay, I'm in here working Butterfly. I'm going to fall down to my elbow and reach as low as I can grab on my partner's pant leg. Okay. From here, I'm going to try to shoot this leg all the way through between my partner's legs. Okay. This top leg is going to drop to the hip bone to maintain the space. Okay. So when I shoot my leg in, I'm going to briefly drop my leg, my knee to the hip. Okay. Of course, I'm never going to stay here for any amount of time because uh, I have basically no guard on that backside. Okay? But here, when I get my leg through, now I'm going to use my lapel grip and this knee to move my partner's upper body. Okay? Moving my partner's upper body across me like with a lapel drag motion. And I'm going to be moving my hips under my partner's hips here and I pull up on the leg. Okay? Now from here, of course, when we go to put the the foot in, make sure you're not bringing your toes inside and getting DQ'd for reaping the knee, okay? So the heel comes in and the toes stay out. Little detail here, if it's ever tight, if it's ever hard to get your heel to the hip, make sure you're bringing your knee up to your chest first and then there's plenty of room here. Now, what do we need to remember once we get here to single leg X? Single leg X is a, like a one-sided guard. There's only one good side, okay? That's out this way. I always need to be driving my opponent that way and hipping myself out the other way. Okay, so my, I'm not flat on my back. I'm pushing off my partner with both feet and I'm hipping out, out from underneath my partner. Okay, uh, now, sweep I probably get the most from here is very easy if they leave this pant leg grip within my reach here on this bottom hand. I'm just gonna grab with the palm up grip, okay? I'm going to give my partner a little extra shove, so I'm going to kind of pull him to me, just, a, just an inch or two, load him up, give him a little extra push, okay, and then I'm going to go top leg, back, bottom leg, back, even farther, don't stay here perpendicular to your partner where he can drive into you, okay, I go all the way out, belly down, and now I don't even need to sweep him so much as I just control his legs and I climb up, okay, controlling both hand legs. So one more time on that one. I have my cross collar, working my butterfly guard here. Okay, I'm gonna fall down to my elbow, shoot my leg through, pull my partner across me, pulling on this pant leg. Okay, little uh, extra detail here. As I work for my overhook, actually check the link on the overhook guard videos. It's the same movement. If I wanna get this overhook in right here, it's tight, okay? I hug. I hip out and a nice little space opens up for me to get my lapel grip, okay? Now from here, if that bottom pant leg is within reach, I grab it. Load them up, give them a shove, back, back, and climb on top for this week. Okay, that's one entry. Entry number two. Let's say my partner's standing, okay? When my partner's standing, I'm going to be looking for my cross the pelvic grip again, okay? Now, I can enter single leg X anytime I have my feet inside of my partner's legs. This is the same as, you know, the all the big leg lockers talk about inside position, okay? This is the same thing, the same entries. If my feet are inside my partner's legs, I can start looking for the single leg X, okay? So in this case, if my partner's approaching me, say like maybe for a cross knee pass, yeah, exactly, okay? I'm going to go shin to shin, I'm going to hug tight, okay? From here, shin to shin, hug the leg tight. And as I bring my partner on top of me here, I make my butterfly hook, okay? I lift slightly, and I can kick my foot free. And here I'm directly into that single leg exposition. You cannot rest here flat on your back. Right? You're always moving your partner out. Okay. Now, next, let's say from here, before you can make your sweep happen, they're starting to stand up. Automatic. Boom. Top hook. X hook. Okay. Even with this X hook, 
not the same thing. I have to be driving my partner to my good side and getting off the flat of my back, okay? So I'm trying to drive and put my partner's hands to the mat. Sometimes it's hard if they have good base, it's hard to move them here. One thing you can do to make it a little easier is pull them in and lift straight up, okay? Once I lift them up, then I can just rock, rock my partner out to the side, okay? If he goes down to his knee, I can grab here, okay? If he stays standing up, we have stretch him out, technical stand. Okay. And let's see, was there, oh yeah, one more entry. Again, just not too systematic on this one, just kind of a grab bag of entries. Another one if my partner stands up, okay, opens up my guard, boom, I'm going for my tripod sweep. Okay. As I'm working my tripod sweep, and I'm trying to knock him over, he keeps good base, maybe steps his foot, he steps his foot back, okay? What I'm gonna do is try to get this knee behind my partner's leg, okay? So to do that, I need to belly down a little bit, and I pull my partner in, okay? And I have my knee behind his leg, then same deal. Grab this, start to move him out, step on him, single leg X, or a uh, uh, technical scan, okay? Uh, all right, Ibrahim, there's some entries for you to